I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had I found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in she might turn around. what's up y'all this is 1028 awakenings and i'm back again with another motherfucking video how y'all doing all right somebody had put in my comments like I don't know. They was like, yeah, I know that person, mama, and, and that, that person can't take them. Um, I do not promote disrespecting a mom, cursing out a mother, cursing out a father. A lot of y'all like, well, you don't know what my daddy did to me. You don't know what my mama did to me. Okay, I don't. You right. You do because you pick them. You pick your parents when you reincarnate, okay? Now, if somebody's mom doesn't like a young lady or a young man or whatever, and that mom is ignorant and she calling you a bitch and she judging you before she meets you, that's her own problems that she has to deal with externally. And if she meets you and she disrespects you, you know what I mean, and you be polite, you remain polite. Why are you disrespecting somebody's mom? Let me tell you something about older people, okay? One, when in a time in which they reincarnated, they were supposed to be people who stood their ground. No matter what their ground is, right or wrong, they stand their ground, right? And that's who they are. Now, the only ones that are changing are the ones that are going outside. They walk in, they exercise, and you'll see a little, you know, 92, 82-year-old women out there doing TikToks because they're they're using that stand your ground energy, right? And they're applying it to, hey, it's a new time. It's a new day. You know, even though we young, we can get on TikTok now. We can express ourselves. We can do things in a different way. We can show the generation that you can be classy. You can have taste, okay? It's a lot of different older people, okay, that's on social media that's really thriving. I'm talking about 60, 70, 80, 90, 52, 56, thriving, okay? So disrespecting people's parents is always going to be a no here, okay? I don't give a fuck what my mama do, try to punch me, slap me upside my head. I got people that I know from high school, okay? Still, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, every time. They like, I love Ashley. I don't give a damn, okay? They could go on the internet and they can see me on here cursing. They're like, I didn't know Ashley cursed like that, but I mean, she is such a sweet girl. She's so nice, okay? You got to listen to the message because she's a girl. She's a nice girl, okay? So we do not condone slapping mama, slapping daddies, disrespect. If somebody don't like you, just let them not like you, especially if they're an older person. Some older people don't want to move out of the vibration that they used to be in. And honestly, y'all, that's what they was, that's what they here to do. Except the thing is that the when they did it during the era, it wasn't it wasn't a good time. Most of them died. You know what I'm saying? So then we had to do it again. So what's up, y'all? It's early in the morning. I'm feeling good. It's content day. It's content day. It's content day. I love content day, you know, because I look all good and shit. Be smelling all good and shit. Makeup be bomb and shit. Y'all be getting FaceTime. Okay, you like, you cute, boo? FaceTime me like, bing. This is the day you're going to get a FaceTime. All the other days you're like, decline. Don't be just calling me unexpected. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd be mad as fuck when people be calling me off Instagram. I'm like, nigga, I don't know you. Why you calling me off Instagram? No, that is not my phone number, okay? Scorpio, you can see somebody in the grocery store and they keep just running through the aisles with y'all, okay? You like, hold up, nigga. You trying to talk to me, okay? You could be just doing this to a girl, Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio male. You could see somebody you keep playing in the aisles with this person because you want it. You know, when you want something, you be like, let me go on over there and see what's going on over there. <laughs> Okay, so y'all, I gotta start acting stupid, okay? I just really love content day. It's my favorite day, okay? It's my favorite day is content day. All right, so Scorpios, we got the fishermen, okay? It says, fishing desires the act of reaching out to multiple people on dating apps that you think that you could have a chance with and wanting to see, okay? So Scorpio, this was in the upright, so you could have just logged into a dating app like, bitch, let me see what's going on with this shit, okay? So you could have just logged on to a dating app just to see what the fuck was going to bite, you know? I don't know. You know, I did that dating app one time. I met somebody on there, and mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, it was not a positive thing. 
Um, I do, I do like to keep my Couture Love page on there because I like for people to follow me. It just be a lot of niggas, but I don't really give a fuck. You know, followers are followers. But anyway, um, you might be out here fishing, bruh. Okay, so some of y'all might be out here fishing. If you're a Scorpio male, you you just want to see what's out there. You know what I'm saying? You just want to. Throw it out there right quick. You know what I'm saying? Throw the profile up, set up, see see what you got. You know, see what bite. And ain't nothing wrong with that. The sun coming out, people about to be outside. You know what I'm saying? All right, it's about to be a hold down. All right, I don't know why Beyonce has been on my mind. Okay, ever since I did her little reel, this ain't Texas. Who? All right, if y'all ain't following me on Instagram, please do. Please do. Okay, I got like nine pages. Follow everyone. All right. Um. But yeah, you could be fishing, Scorpio, and I feel like that's what's up. You sometimes you need to go out here and test the water, see what the water out here trying to give you, okay? Because some of y'all is it's trying to give you a new experience, okay? So Scorpio, get out there and test the water, all right? Today, go on out there and see what's going on. I don't like going to the grocery store, okay? So, and when I do go to the grocery store, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I um I sit on that cart, I sit on that machine, and I ride around in there, and people be looking at me like I'm crazy, and I'm like, bitch, ain't nobody in here. So I'm not, you know, I hate when bitches be worried about what the fuck you doing. And shit, it be like, beep, beep. I be sitting there too, on the phone. Like, can you back up? Shit, you know I'm backing up. You hear this big ass machine. <laughs> no shame, y'all. I swear to God, I be in there on that machine all the time. My aunt be like, why are you doing that? I'm like, because I don't want to walk. I don't feel like it. Scorpio, all right. So you could be in this energy where you want a family, you want a man, you want a girl, you want home cooked meals, okay? You want a baby, okay? You want your little clique, you know, you know, your immediate unit. That's nice, Scorpio. So you out here fishing because you're thinking about family. This also means you could have to go to a family function, okay? You could have to go to where there's a groups of families and your family not there. You're like, damn, you know, this could be like, you know, you have a family, but your person or your baby or whoever you have a baby with, you might not be with them and they live in another state. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn, you know, you always think about how you want a family situation, but you really do got a family. You know what I'm saying? But it's not with you. That's kind of hard. It's hard when the mama just take the kid wherever they want to go. You know what I'm saying? But women be doing whatever the fuck they want to. They be like, fuck you, nigga. You ain't shit. <laughs> All right. So we have true gem, valuable quality and jewelry in reverse. So this also could mean like, damn, you don't know where you lost your ring at. You like, damn, I know I got this ring. You could be really mad at your kids because you buy them a lot of jewelry and they can't never find it. It's okay. Y'all just need to get them from like one of them Bobo stores. It's the beauty supply store. It's great. Okay. Oh, somebody said they can't wear fake gold. I understand that. Yeah. So, you know, you might lose something very valuable. All right. With this, somebody feels like you were valuable, Scorpio, and they lost you and they wanted to have a family with you, but they kept fishing, bruh. They kept get, seeing out here what the fuck was going on. Somebody just kept doing that over and over again. But some stuff can't be replaced, you know what I'm saying? Because you was a gem. I don't know where they sell gems at, okay? And you told this person they cannot call you, talk to you, and communicate with you. They can't fuck with you, okay? It says text and phone calls and online. Damn, Scorpio, all right? So whoever the fuck this is, they feel like you was a true gem, okay? And they're not going to ever meet nobody like you know you. But you told them they can't call you. They can't text you. If you see them online, just skip past me, okay? And this is somebody who want to have a family with you, but they kept fishing, though, okay? They kept fishing, all right? Oh, shit. Okay, so Scorpio, here we go, all right? So you could be thinking about family and how you want your own family. You could be wanting to go out here. Now, when you out here dating on these online websites, you're like, this is, this is busters. These is busters and these female busters, these male busters, all them suck, okay? Um, and you don't want to communicate with these catches on uh, on this app. You don't want to call them. They be seeing you online. You don't give a fuck. You like the client. I ain't online to talk to you, okay? Because you don't feel like none of these men or none of these William, Will, <laughs> maybe somebody's last name is Williams. Um, none of these women are valuable. They don't have no quality. You don't like them, okay? Now, we have boss, entrepreneur, and detached, okay? So somebody who is very detached and cold, okay, wants to be nice and kind to you, okay? Uh, this could be after you cut off some strong-ass communication with this person. You just didn't want to fuck with this person like this, all right? And it's really because you look good. I know this sounds strange, but everybody don't want somebody that's fine as fuck. You know, some people just want a mediocre-ass motherfucker that they ain't got to compete with, <laughs> okay? We got beauty queen in reverse, but your light is about to bright. Your light is about to shine brighter than this person could have ever imagined, okay? So there's something that you do just that just keeps giving you life or keeps making you thrive more or just look happier or I don't know. It's something about what you do that is really bright here, okay? 
Now, you could be a real beauty queen. You could look good even when you look dressed down. So, even when you think you look busted, you still look good as fuck, okay? You're adored by a lot of people, and a lot of people are um, happy about your status or happy about your growth, Scorpio. Um, and, you know, sometimes when this is in reverse, it'll be like you got haters, but this is not haters. This is like people who are in awe that you look good, you smell good, your brain is intact, you can have an intellectual conversation, you know about multiple revenues of growth and expansion, okay? This is like somebody who sees you as somebody who is not just beautiful, not just face, but face, brains, look. You know, you even got some street in you a little bit. You be doing some jugs on the side and shit, okay? But you do it in a very sophisticated and classy motherfucking way you like i didn't even know you would do that and you be like bitch you're not supposed to okay it's a problem when people know what the fuck you got going on scorpio so you like to keep your shit tight and you like to keep it solid you know what i'm saying so there's 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 a tight circle here all right you could keep your friends very close but your friends could be wanting you to date you know they could be like you know go out you know what i'm saying do something all right so you know and you've been thinking about family and your origin and what legacies you have you know some of y'all only have one kid you like damn you know they're not gonna have no sibling or nothing once you die and the parents die they're gonna be alone Ooh, that hit me i don't care you can't just borrow my uterus on the computer i don't know what this is this is a reading okay uh, I'm sorry, I'm arguing with my own angels and God. <laughs> I'm like, this is a reading, okay? So somebody just feel like, you know, when you die, you know, all you're going to have is just this one kid. You know, the kid ain't going to have no siblings and stuff like that. So, you know, you just got to pay attention to that, all right? And maybe it's been on your mind. I don't know what that's about. And I just got to stay in my lane. This shit ain't got nothing to do with me. I still hope we can work things out. So somebody here that you don't want to talk to who has cut off you have cut off communication with this person they still hope that y'all can work it out you know they like man it, we got time man I, I can fix this shit so whoever this is they like nah you can't just cut me off like that because this person feel like every time they go somewhere you know and i feel like scorpio you have made sure that you moved out of this person's way but it don't matter with all this purple here and upside down their intuition is calling them and look with this purple it look like you might have a baby with this person okay so this this person's intuition is is pulling them to you all right because they just feel like you valuable you know and they love you and they want to text you they want to communicate with you all the time they want to see when you online and this person want to put a baby with you this is some heavy baby energy right here okay it's so heavy i'm like wow what is this i don't know if the baby already got put in you but jesus okay you gotta be careful <laughs> all right we have i love i love you with all my heart and soul why I couldn't get that out? I don't know. So somebody just realized, like, they love you, bro. I mean, head to toe, everything about you. It's just, and this could have been quick, okay? It says, memories of you are haunting me. I told you, everywhere this person go, you like, hell no, nah, bitch. Your name can't be Ashley. Your name Ashley too? Man, get the fuck out of here. What's your middle name, okay? Somebody gonna be like, Nicole. You're like, hell no, nah, okay? So your name could be very generic, <laughs> okay? Because my name is very generic, but whoever this is you know they love you with all their heart and their soul okay they have a lot of memories of you and that shit haunts them okay and i wouldn't say it's in a negative way but you like dang i ain't even trying to think about these happy memories with you i'm trying to focus on this new girl okay so somebody's having a lot of hard time just replacing you with some bobos or some flex downs you know sometimes niggas be trying to trying to replace you with some flex downs baby you can't do that okay it ain't gonna work out for you okay you can't do that with some niggas too some niggas just bring too much good shit to the table. You like, hold on, nigga, let's work it out, okay? You bought the builder over here. Nigga, okay, you could turn into a doctor on my ass. You can build a shelf in this motherfucker. Okay, it's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let, let me talk to you right quick. <laughs> All right, so Scorpio, somebody is thinking about how they need to love themselves because they keep trying to control you or manipulate you in some kind of way, and it ain't working. You can't manipulate no Scorpio, shawty. You're going to get your ass played every time because the Scorpio going to be like, you know what? I don't know what the fuck going on here, but this shit stank. And when it stank, we take the trash out. We're not one of the motherfuckers that be piling that shit on the top. You know what I'm saying? Unless we home by ourselves. But if we got somebody there, bitch, you're going to have to take that trash out because we don't want to see it. We can deal with our own mess. We damn sure ain't going to deal with nobody else's. Okay? 
all right so somebody loves what you do for your uh entertainment or what you do for leisure or what you just do for entertainment somebody love that shit okay they think that shit is fine okay they want to communicate with you but they got to do it secretly or under a fake account or whatever okay but this is somebody who loves you too they be trying to like make a fake account so they can like up your shit and boost up your stuff and this is nice okay i mean i'm it is a stalkerish kind of activity but you know oh shit somebody been spreading lies whoever this is this is somebody who go to bed every night with a bonnet on or you know with some kind of tie head or some rollers here but somebody been spreading a lot of fake ass news and fake rumors about you scorpio and it's because you love yourself okay and you're not constantly needing to kind of try to control how people feel about you or the narrative you kind of one of them people that if you like me you like me and if you don't you don't okay somebody been spreading a lot of rumors about you though and it's fake news um yeah and it ain't no facts in it it don't even add up People been studying your ass for weeks, months at a time, and everything that you say and do, do, do add up, you know? Um, somebody really realize you don't really do shit. You don't really go nowhere. Like, you go out, but you don't really go out. With family here and this being sideways, man, you be in the house, bruh. Whoever this is, they be at the house. They don't need me going nowhere. That's why you online fishing for somebody because you won't go outside to go do it. Now, there's a moocher out here. There, so there's someone who strives off another person's income. All right, one, even if you have it, they own money. They use somebody else's, okay? So, Scorpio, you have somebody. This person could be international. This could be like a cousin out of town or something. But whoever this is, they... um. They coming in town and they want some shit. You know, when people come from Jamaica, they be like, y'all got all this stuff. You could give me this. Okay, so some moocher is coming over. This could be your auntie, all right? This also could be somebody who eat up all your food, shawty. Like, you be like, damn, I just I just stepped out to go to Walgreens to go get something. And I, I got a candle for the house and you ate all my shit, okay? So this could be somebody who just mooches off of you. This person constantly just thinks that, you know, they got to ask you to do stuff or you should do stuff to help them. But why? You know what I mean? So it's a real moocher here. Um, whoever this is, they're they're really meticulous about the things they do. Their nails are always done. This is somebody who takes time and all, or I leave or something like that when they are sick. This is also somebody who has bossed up straws, okay? So you know how regular people just have regular straws? No, this bitch got a bossed up straw. It could be like a a wired straw a, a carb you know carb i hate them cardboard straws they be trying to give out to my they said they help with the environment bitch the straw is going off in the jukes <laughs> like is it helping my stomach with this fake straw okay let me start all right so whoever this is they like that like if you you be around this person and they have their own personal things that's what they have they could bring their own personal glasses to things okay um, this person could like pearls, but don't wear pearls. This person could always have like stud earrings or no earrings in their ear. Um, this person could have a, a furry jacket, okay? Or this hood, this, 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 a jacket with a hood on it. Even if it's a nigga, it's a big chinchilla looking jacket. You might never really see it, but you, or it's a furry jacket. Whatever it is, it's a furry, like, look at this bitch jacket, okay? It's like a furry ass jacket, all right? It don't gotta be big, but it's like a furry cozy jacket, all right? Um... But whoever this is, they're a moocher. And they take from you. Even though you might be a single mom or a single dad or you only have one kid and they got a lot, they still take from you. And they feel like you just live too good and they don't like it. Whoever this is, they help you, but they don't want to. They don't really want to. But they still do it with a smile. But when they can try to take from you, they do. This could be a homegirl or a homeboy. And you know they do this in some way. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This that was a weird energy there, okay? Especially with the furry jacket coat. I'm like furry jacket coat. All right, so Scorpio. <clears throat> oh damn. Okay, somebody mad that you took your energy away from them. Okay, but you mad because somebody took a balloon from you or some kind of celebration. Okay, so you like celebrations. You like extra shit. You like one of them Scorpios that like a whole bazaar. You like doom doom bang. You want the fireworks, bruh. Somebody didn't give you that energy, so you took your energy back, bitch. This ain't no party with no balloons, okay? So we got heart here in reverse. You took your money back. You took your energy back. You took your vibe back. Somebody missed that shit. Look at this shit. Got the heart and the energy in reverse, okay? So somebody left you out here, okay? Stop playing, okay? This also means that somebody got some unexpected surprise for you, okay? Because they want your energy back. So they're going to surprise you with some heart balloons, some extra shit, some shit that's over the top. You know how fake-ass niggas, I ain't saying they fake. 
You know what I'm saying? But I did say it. <laughs> but they'll be like, oh, I don't got to be all special for you on Valentine's Day. I could be special for you any day. This is what this dumbass motherfucker finna do right here. Okay? They finna be like, see, it don't got to be about... And this is somebody who was cold and detached and fucked up. They're going to try to be nice on a regular day. Man, fuck you. Okay? You got to be careful. I'm not, and, I, and I'm not saying that's right, what I just said. Okay? Because honestly, Valentine's Day is not a good day to be having and doing any of these things, having pagan holidays. But this is when I was born. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I really like Valentine's Day. You know, it's one of my favorite holidays. Okay. But whoever this is, this is what they're going to do. They're going to be like, see, I don't want to celebrate you then. Like all them people. Oh, okay. All right. Somebody want balance with you. Okay. They, they was juggling too many things at once and they needed to find time for themselves. Now they need to find time for themselves and you, this person want to cut off all the people they was juggling because they still hope things will work out. And they think the only way it's going to work out is unless they stop juggling you or, or making you not a priority could be it. Cause this person could not have no holes okay but we do got somebody spreading lies so I, I do feel like there's two fake ass bitches out here okay somebody saying something okay they trying to get the word out about your ass okay because it's fake okay and, it, and, it, and and the thing is Scorpio the only reason that you winning is because you in your own lane the only reason that you win is because you you know this shit is happening because I'm telling you and you might be like I think that's the bitch on social media or I think that's the nigga but you ain't touching them you ain't clicking their page you ain't trying to see if they liking each other shit you're not trying to see shit you like you know what if you want to be with that buster ass nigga or female go on be with the buster okay you know and I ain't trying to disrespect nobody because you know people be like oh you always gassing up Scorpios well get the fuck off cross watcher okay because this is what I'm gonna do I'm a Scorpio and I'm always gas up my motherfucking head okay Okay. And I do feel like I give it to y'all both ways. I told you somebody talking about how they want to celebrate you. They don't give a fuck that it's Valentine's Day. They're trying look at this. Hell no. Nah. Look at this denial. Okay. They trying to celebrate you. It don't matter today. You know, I hate when niggas be doing this bullshit. This person needed to make a decision so they can claim they can make a, a conscientious decision about you. Okay, because they like your admiration, they like your hard work, they like everything you got going on, and they want to celebrate you on a day that's not fucking Valentine's Day. They just want to celebrate you. Okay, all right. It says failure to accept a situation, unhealthy cycles, or addiction. So you keep telling this nigga you ain't fucking with him. They're like, nah, nigga, I'm coming back again, like a vengeance. Okay, and this nigga is like, I, I, I don't give a fuck. I know what's unhealthy and i know that you healthy and i want to be addicted to what's healthy okay you like what i told you you not healthy for me well i know you healthy for me <laughs> whoever this is don't want to take no for an answer they're like look you right i was toxic but now i'm about to be healthy so that we can be healthy together <laughs> this person is funny whoever this is they make you laugh okay they'll you know you be mad but as soon as they start talking to you, you got to be careful. You be smiling and cheesing, okay? But, you know, I'm going to tell you, whoever this is, you need to give them the 180-day rule, okay? you like, what rule is that? That rule is no come, no touch, no nothing. Because if, if somebody can do that for six months straight or whatever, and they really fuck with you, then they really fuck with you. But if they can't, they be like, man, they, week two, they got to cheat. Leave them alone, bro. Because they, they just doing this because they going through withdrawals or whatever the fuck you gave them, all right? Love, attention, affection. Because you love yourself a lot with self-love here you love yourself a lot and not only that like you don't even try to control people if people don't fuck with you you be like oh good day <laughs> you be like good day let me get up out your way okay all right scorpios i love you guys have a great day today okay it's gonna be content day which means we're gonna have new same songs but new pictures of me in the beginning of the video who don't like that shit i do bye y'all <laughs> Scorpios is really private, but we'll sting if you get close. Huh? And they rule by planet Mars, they stay determined, then don't go. go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. That's they appreciate the ones they love, they ain't worth the fake shit. Uh -uh. They don't really like people switching up, and they can't be kinda controlling, like, bitch. Shut the fuck up Shut Scorpios up. are leaders and they always think ahead And they also open minded so you gotta give them credit give them. If you date in the Scorpio and they like you, they will make you happy They also like a meal so in the kitchen, no, you can't be Scorpios lacking Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip And they do not disappoint, man, you just gotta tap in Tagging shit is video to a Scorpio you